Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the LEGO Star Wars set number 7869, Battle for Geonosis. So, um, currently you could only get this at the LEGO store and LEGO.com, shop at home. Um, and it's a good set, it's $39.99, but um, judging by the fact that it's a special edition right there, the odds are it's going to be a Walmart exclusive. That's what I'm thinking, but um, I could be wrong. It could be Toys R Us and they just didn't do limited edition. Maybe it's just all the same this, this time around. But um, I think it's going to be a Walmart exclusive and it's going to be available on Walmart.com pretty soon, probably. Um, so check there if you don't feel like buying from Lego or if you have something against the website. I don't really know. Um, but um, if you have a Lego store, the odds are that they have this. Call before you go because they sell it pretty fast. Um, <coughs> now. I don't really get a couple things with this set, honestly. Um, Captain Rex was only on G. Uh, he was on Genosis, but he only visited Luminara like for a second. Um, he only like was with Luminara on the speeder bike for like literally not that long. Um, the battle droids and the super battle droids are fine. That's that perfectly fits in the canon. Obviously, that's the main part of the set. Luminara is fine, but I would have liked. I don't know. I would have liked to maybe to see Commander Jet in here and Kiati Mundi. That would have been really good. Now I know in the Geonosis Starfighter they're including Kiati Mundi, and there's rumors that Commander Jet is going to be in there. But I mean, if they had Kiati Mundi and Commander Jet, that would look a hell better. Just a hell lot better. Picture this as Kiati Mundi. For Geonosis, this guy fits in. But, I would have honestly liked a uh, real one. Or even a camo ARF trooper, I don't really know. Um, but whatever, they're good. So let's get on with the set. So first figure um, is Luminara. She's very good. Um, she actually has a double-sided face, or double-sided printed head, or whatever. I don't know, the second one kind of creeps me out, I don't know. First one's really nice. That's one I use. Um, torso and the legs. It's very nice. Uh, the little medallion isn't printed on like even there, but whatever. The back there's no printing, but uh, I think that there should have been a cape on her. I don't know. Um, ooh, lens it. <laughs> that would have been a little better. But, um, yeah, and the headpiece is actually pretty nice. It's, it's hollow right here. Um, she looks Chinese. She really does. Next is Captain Rex. You guys probably all know about him, but um, this is my first time actually getting a real, real Captain Rex. So I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I got a pretty decently printed one. All of them. As far as I know, are crooked like that, or most of them. So, it's nothing that's with mine. I ordered a keychain a long time ago, and it was like that on the photo, on the box. It's like that. It's uneven, so odds are it's like that on every on all of them. And um, also, the mouthpiece is a little high, like this. Like there's a white gap right there, but that's how they are. So, um, it's pretty good. Um, I do like this figure. But I would have liked uh, normal Captain Ra um, Commander Jet, as I said. You get two battle droids, both with blasters, and uh, of course, as you can see, the rocket battle droid, rocket super battle droid. I really like this. Now, um, I have this base. Um, I'm probably gonna buy one or two more of these. Maybe one, not two. I have this base that I was working on, um, just to show you real fast. And I'm just going to tear it down to build a big Geonosis mock. So, whatever. Um, that's been planned for a while. It's going to be four gray base plates. And we'll see where, what happens after that. I, I'm going to order the parts in, like, um, the reddish tan color. The Lego brick is, like, the color of Commander Jet's torso. You know what I'm talking about, probably, like that. They used it for Prince of Persia in the $40 set. So... That's going to be cool, but um, now let's get on to the speeder and the uh, rest of the set. 
Alright, so the speeder bike is um, very nice. It's exactly the same as the one that you get in the battle pack, but that one's very nice, so I guess this one's nice too. I like the color scheme on this one a lot. The red looks really cool. And um, it goes really good with Lieutenant Thire. Um, here's Thire, yes. And um, so. Oh, I don't know why I brought it so close there, but whatever. So, Thire looks really nice on this guy. I mean, yeah, whatever. I don't know. This bad boy. I don't know. It looks really cool. So, that's it. It's exactly the same, except different colors. Obviously, this one's red, the other one's green. Um, and it's that darkish burgundy color. So, um, next, the cannon. The legs turn right here. And they also have a mechanism that makes them stay still, but then when you want to move them, you can move it up. And also this moves, so it kind of poses whatever you want. And these pieces are really cool that they used. I like those. Um, and you pull this little red lever down. Oh, wait, you could have height adjustment also by turning this. And if you were to do Lego Boy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8's modification, if you were, when you were to turn it in the back, it would, if you were to lower it a lot, like this, it would bump in and it wouldn't be able to go down all the way. So that's why I didn't. So, here it is. It fires this up. So, it's very cool. I like it. Here's where it goes. And also the battle droid can sit right here and uh, pilot or whatever. Um, it's very good. It's a very, very nice set. Um, lots of detail. It's a pretty easy build. It wasn't too hard for me. Yeah. So it's really nice. Um, I actually went over less than I thought I would in the cannon. Um, but it's a very good set, as I said. Um, worth maybe $30, 35 I mean, this is way more worth it than the midi scale Millennium Falcon. But still, um, I do like the figures. It's nice to have a Captain Rex, but I would have loved to see a co um, Commander Jet, a real one. But this guy's fine. I could just use him, but still. Alright guys, see you later. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, next review coming up will probably be the T6 shuttle. See you guys later. Bye.